All right, guys, we're back with another one. And this is my last word review on the Blue R1 HD. But what makes the Blue R1 HD so cheap is because of the Amazon ads. The buying this phone with the Amazon ads adds a discount to the price. Regularly about $109 discounted to $59. This is the 16 gigabyte version. Don't get the 8 gig, get the 16 gig version. For the extra $10, you're getting 16 gigs of storage, which is very important. And you can also expand the storage by micro SD card. This is a dual SIM device. This is a MediaTek quad-core process processor with 2 gigs of RAM. It just makes sense to get this variant for $59. The Amazon ads does not add any type of interruption to the way you use your phone. For me, as a Amazon Prime user, and I always buy stuff from Amazon, I don't mind the ads. A matter of fact, since I've said that my camera has comped out on me, Amazon has been recommending me a lot of different type of cameras So it's working So let's check out the build. This is aluminum frame antenna lines on the side You have a type of grippy rubber back that really feels good Really feels good in the hand nice phone Fits real good. The screen has curved edges that really feel nice and like I said, blue logo in the front, 5 point megapixel camera in the front with flash, 8 megapixel in the back with flash, blue logo, and a little speaker. And that little speaker got some quality. Power button, volume keys, a little bit too flush to the body, but other than that, it's okay. Let's take a look at these cameras this is a 5 megapixel camera with flash and let me say for a budget phone you would expect 1.3 megapixels or 2 megapixels blue is giving you a 5 megapixel camera with a flash how many flagships or mid-rangers out there that's added a flash to their front facer this is a plus now granted it's not one of the best front facing cameras but it's definitely not the worst Blue, you did a pretty good job. Now, let's take a look at a couple of pics from the back camera, which is at 8 megapixels. Seems like the pictures come out very blurry, like... I've used phones with 8 megapixels and they've taken better pictures than this 8 megapixel. So the camera in the back is not a pass, is not a good camera. I would not be posting these pictures on Instagram and expecting a lot of love. The camera is suspect. The front facer is okay. Now, like I said about the screen, the screen is on point. That's why... They have it out there calling it HD. The screen is really good. Quality is excellent using this. Now, using it with headphones, it's okay. It's a definitely a pass. And using it by Bluetooth is here and there, depending on which headphones you use. But I would definitely say it's a pass. It's probably the headphones issue. So, call quality is is excellent but if you're using it with the 3.5 millimeter jack be prepared because it's going to be a little bit of an adventure now other than that you have the upside down micro usb now take an effect that the micro usb is not fast charging 
this is one of the slowest phones to charge up that I've ha ever, ever experienced in a long time. If you are looking to come home, plug up your phone, take a shower and come back, don't expect 40-50% or even more of battery life. No. You're probably going to have 15-20% to 20 done. If that. The phone charges up very slow. This is a phone that you may want to charge up overnight. But I wouldn't use this proprietary brick. This brick heats up so much. I would not charge my phone with this. If you have other micro USB type charger, USB chargers, I would use those instead of using this that came in the box. But other than that, you're talking four, in the approximation of four hours of charging up in your house. That's very slow. Now, battery life, I did a full battery life review and battery life is impressive with this blue. You can get eight hours on the regular heavy use if you're looking to go longer than that you can depending on your usage so if you use it light moderate you can go i would say past 12 hours you got to check out the battery life review now as we get into the speaker let's the speakers right here it's a little speaker and this little speaker is trying its best and it has quality but the depth of sound, it doesn't have. But hey, don't take my word for it. Let's go into a little sound test and hear how these speakers sound. Now, I'm not impressed by the speaker. Let's listen to another genre. So if you lay it on its back, you can still hear the speaker pretty good. Because blue has added a little something here to lift, give it some lift. And the speaker, it got some quality. It sounds good. There's times that I've been listening to it and it's been so low, I couldn't even make it out. I had to put it up to my head. So the quality is there And at times you can get some good sound out of it But I found times where I was disappointed Blue software is not that bad This is this is basically I have it set up as stock Android Look over Android is not that intrusive on this phone You pull down the menu screen you have a little knickknacks here. You have everything that you need. Hotspot, cast, auto profiles. This is a nice look. So it gives you a slider if you can uh, silence everything out, which I should press silent. Um, your Wi-Fi, your everything, your alarms. Listen, everything is right there. And you can also erase all your notifications with one touch of a button, which is really cool. So Blue has put a nice software together. MediaTek processor with two gigs of RAM is running. The camera in the back is a little suspect. The camera in the front is, is on par with everybody else to a certain extent. The speaker, the speaker, I find it to be a little bit suspect, but for fifty dollars. For $59, because I recommend 16 gigabytes, 2 gigs of RAM, this phone, phone, it's trying its best to be a smartphone. And I'm going to tell you this, this, this phone is succeeding. There haven't been anything that I've needed to do that I couldn't get done on this phone, except that it takes a little longer. A, a couple more milliseconds slower than everything else on the market. I think you could live with that sort of question. Price. That can this phone be your backup phone? Yes. Can this phone be your main phone if you're on a budget? Yes. Can this phone entertain your friends on Facebook and Instagram and Snapchat? No. Cameras are not up to par. 
the charging is going to annoy you. The battery life is passable. The screen looks very good. There's some great qualities with this phone. And there's some little hiccups. But for $59, this phone is running. So pretty much with that, I would say this is a definite buy. But if you're a hardcore user and you think you're going to get hardcore results from this phone, I suggest look elsewhere.